Alright, so uh, this is the video that I'm going to make for Max Arcade. He wanted to kind of look over my computer and stuff. And uh, my computer, or my camera, isn't high def or anything. So it's kind of hard to read anything. Um, I don't think we'll be reading too much, like on the power supply or anything. But just kind of want to give you a look around. And I hope the lighting is okay. But um, here's roughly what it looks like on the inside. Here's the, uh, obviously the PCI Express slot, and then the three PCI slots. And uh, here's the hard drive. It's just an IDE hard drive. It does have SATA ports on it. Uh, I'm still pretty new to that as well, but if I move this out of the way, I think there's four SATA ports there. Yeah, the lighting kind of sucks here, but anyway. Um, processor and all that. It is a uh, Celeron D uh, 3 gigahertz, so probably could upgrade to something maybe a little faster. Um, here are all the plugins. They're just a standard little Molex plug. Not too sure what this one is because I am like retarded when it comes to desktop PCs because I've only owned this one and an old Athlon XP system and then really old like e-machine compacts from like early 2000s um, I'm looking around here there's just some extra little plugs here <clears throat> here's that power supply one of those cheap hip pros um, and I believe it's only 250 watts I'm pretty sure I read that anyway so I I'm just making sure I'm pretty sure it says that but yeah this is that computer it's got these little um, easy what what is what are the, whatever they're called the tool as a drive kits or whatever I don't really know even how to use them because all the ones I've ever had had the screws so that'll be kind of fun to work with I guess and like I said, I'm pretty much a noob when it comes to a lot of this newer stuff since I've only had laptops like this one right here. That's the laptop I use. But, um, yeah, I don't really know what else I'm going to point out on here. It's got 2 gigs of RAM in it, and it's maxed out and whatnot. Um, the DVD drive I also had a question on. Um, they told me that it doesn't work, and it's because there's some file that gets erased. I have no idea what they were talking about, but they claim there's some file that keeps getting deleted and it keeps not not recognizing the disk drive. I'll go ahead and flip this up and uh, show you. Just a minute. All right, so I got everything all worked out here, but here is the. Uh, it's just a little standard. I don't know if it's the Sony one. Because they put a brand new one in here, and it was a Sony OEM drive. But uh, they claim every time they did, do, did anything with it that it wouldn't recognize, like you couldn't read CDs or whatever, or DVDs, I guess. Um, here's just a couple of the ports. If you were curious, it's got a FireWire and two USBs, and I believe it's got a FireWire on the back. And there was the model. If you're looking for that, the little stickers and whatnot. But yeah, uh, if you could, uh, just leave me a comment or PM about anything about it. If you know anything, I like I said, I was looking on here. I honestly don't know if there's anything for PCI Express, but I don't think it's gonna matter, seeing as how I'm gonna upgrade the power supply anyway. Uh, I guess I'll go ahead and show you the back here. Just a standard looking computer for the most part for the back. Still got a little serial port and I didn't know this but it had a uh, S video and digital out. The other computer I had didn't have that so my guess is I can hook that up to a TV and I guess the digital audio is for surround sound I guess. Um, I'm looking on the back to see if there's anything really noteworthy. Oh and then this. I never had these kind before either, where you have one screw instead of just like four individual screws. 
So I'm, I'm sure it's nothing complex or anything, but I was just mentioning I never had one of those either. And I rewatched one of your, it, no, it was the Dell. I think it was the Dell that had this kind of thing on it. But uh, also, I was going to ask one more quick question about this. Um, do you think I should change cases? Because I don't know how well the airflow is in this one. Aside from it just having this one fan. They told me it overheats. So, and that's just what they told me. So they always left this off. It does have that, and I always leave it on here. And I've only test ran it for about an, maybe a half hour or so. So I really don't know. Um, but yeah, uh, if there's any other questions, if you need me to remake the video at all, I pretty much, I think, showed you everything I could show you um, for options. Um, so if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, just go ahead and let me know. And uh, thanks for all your help, by the way. I really appreciate it. So, uh, yep, I'll uh, talk to you later.